Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So grateful for you. So thankful that you're taking the time to study the Word of God. My prayer is that God is blessing you with His Word and that you are learning more about Him, His Son, Jesus, and His ways. And that's why we always love to go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our study together. Uh, so pray with me, if you will. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for the things that you've provided to us, you've given to us, you've offered to us. And Lord, today, as we study your word again today, uh, we're just so excited that we have your scripture before us so that we can learn your ways, we can learn about you, we can know you, Lord. And so we want to offer you thanks for that and ask you to bless our time by uh, extending to us your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and to empower us to live according to that truth. We want to be pleasing in your eyes, Lord, so bless us with your presence today, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is, Who Are You? It's taken from the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 22. John the Apostle wrote, This is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elias? And he said, I am not. Are you that prophet? And he answered, No. And in chapter 1 and verse 22 of his book, John shared how the religious leaders asked John the Baptist again, Who are you? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Where we read, And then said they unto him, Who are you? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What say you of yourself? The verse reads, Then said they unto him, Who are you, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? John began with the words, Then said they unto him, or at that time, the religious leaders uttered, declared, proclaimed, and asked John the Baptist, Who are you? Which means, What person do you exist as, that we may give an answer to them? Or so we, the Jewish priests and Levites, might provide, supply, and furnish a reply and response to the people that sent us, which means who dispatched, sent forth, and appointed we priests and Levites. John shared how the religious leaders continued asking John the Baptist who he was because they needed to provide a response to the people who sent them to question him. The verse continues, what say you of yourself? John added the words, what say you? Which means, who do you utter, declare, and proclaim that you, John the Baptist, of yourself? or pertaining to your own self. John declared how the religious leaders continued to interrogate John the Baptist as to what or who he thought he actually was. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how the religious leaders were persistent in their questioning of John the Baptist. Though John the Baptist told them he was not Elijah or that prophet, they insisted that he give them an answer because they had to respond to the people who sent them. God's plan for mankind is not always understood. And when people question God's way of sending his Messiah and son Jesus, they often directly oppose him. God's plan was to extend forgiveness of sins and everlasting life to all who believe and trust in his son Jesus. But many people were having difficulty in believing in his forerunner, John the Baptist, and his role in the kingdom of God. Those who are wise will submit to Jesus as their personal Savior and Lord and understand this was God's plan of salvation for mankind to be saved. Next time, John shares how John the Baptist says, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.